Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher. And um, I'm doing class today, and I'm not doing it live. That was a disaster. I don't know if I have poor internet access in my studio, or just what. Um, let me adjust the camera just a little bit. Uh, but it was a total disaster. I don't know, my hair looks kind of crazy today. Oh well, it's a cloudy day here in Utah and the temperature is uh, seven degrees. <laughs> yes, Fahrenheit, seven degrees Fahrenheit. So it is cold. Um, we live in a dry climate, so it's uh, not as bad as it could be if it were wetter. But today we're doing a tangle that I was asked to deconstruct by one of my friends, Jill, and she just moved back from Germany and she's been trying to draw Edelweiss for some time and so I did a little deconstruction and here's one I just drew and I did this as I was working on trying to figure out how to draw Edelweiss and the tangle doesn't have a name but I'm just going to demonstrate. I'm on a, I've got a, um, a note card that I've used alcohol ink on. So I'm just going to demonstrate. And the last one I did, I almost did this one. I did it upside down. So I got to turn that around and make sure I'm drawing, going the right direction. So, um, but we just start out with a circle about the size of a large P. Um, and then we're going to do orbs around it. And I like to do different sizes of orbs. So some of them are smaller than others. And I just nestle those orbs in all the way around. Let's see if I can't get in a little closer on this. You can kind of see the uh, the paper shows up a little different. You can see the glitter on here. I used some um, glitter spray on here that I made. If you're interested in that, just say in the comments and I'll do a little tutorial on how you make your own alcohol inks. And um, and your um, shimmer spray. So now that we have our circles all around, we're going to put very thin rounded leaves around. And you can skip. I'm doing all of mine the same size right now. And I kind of skip around. They don't have to be symmetrical. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a longer. And I want that same thin leaf. But it kind of pokes out further from your design. This is a I wouldn't not call it a um, A tangle because we are drawing something but I'm just going around and they almost have a little um, oh, what do I want to call that um, a little not fescue I'll get it you know my brain is and I'm even going to do a couple that look like they they go behind just to fill in. She tells me I've never seen Edelweiss in person. I did look it up online to see what it looked like. And it's very fluffy and white. Soft petals um, are thick. And so now I'm going to take my chalk. Oh, about forgot. We're going to put some veins in here. Just some take off, 
no landing just take off lift that pin and give it a little a little vein look that kind of lifts off as you um, go around so you can lift off and it gives that a light airy, airy look and that's kind of what we want so now we have all our petals and now I'm going to come in with my chalk pencil and I'm going to fill these in with white and because I did it on a um, a piece of cardstock that I dyed it that white is showing up and I want to put it down as heavy as I can and I'm using a canvas um, textured piece of cardstock so it has that look of um, canvas an oil canvas and I'm just going around and giving this that heavy white chalk look I always practice before I do a video and um, I'll have to show you this one is this is the way I did it and then I went to open it and it opened backwards so I turned it around and because there's no mistake in Zentangle I added a few more tangles around but I had to kind of chuckle at myself now I'm going to take I'm reaching over there and I'm going to take my shading stump and I'm going to smooth out my chalk just so it gives it a little bit fluffier look to it and you can see it's kind of blending that into um, the the bay the cardstock helping it have that more fluffy fluffy look and there we have now I understand that um, Edelweiss is yellow in the center so I'm taking my gold jelly roll and I am going to color these orbs because they're on that pink background I'm going to color them with gold and in this big center I'm just going to put a lot of like I was doing uh, Bronx cheer I'm just going to fill it in a little and um, that helps with that kind of helping it fluffy then I'm going to take my silver jelly roll and I am going to just put a little bit of silver around here to kind of give it you know just another little look to it and we have to be careful when you work with the jelly roll pens they take longer to dry that ink is a little different texture and takes a little longer to dry now to give it a little shading in here I'm going to just come in with my black pen and I'm just going to put some tiny little black dots down here in the center as you know I've never seen I've said I've never seen Edelweiss but I love I love this song from Sound of Music Edelweiss but there we have now we can give it 
because we are opening the right way, I could give it a stem that comes down and its leaves are similar to its petals. They are very thin and long. And I'm going to give them some. I am not going to color them because I don't have any idea what color they are. But I can also come in here and just give my background a little sparkle with the three little dots. One of my favorite backgrounds. And um, I like to kind of use all the colors I've used in my in my um, drawing. So I'm using a gold, my gold pen. And I'm going to use my silver. And I am not sure, but that's my version of Edelweiss. And um, it's kind of fun, soft, little pink tangle or flower. It's not really a, a tangle, um, but it's fun to draw. And it was great fun. I um, had some gray paper that I did with a white ink spray and a sp that was what I was learning on just some gray paper. I have gray tiles, they're, they're kind of a dark gray and so I've just sprayed them with um, some water-based white ink and they turned out way cool. And um, But I love the Edelweiss and I am hoping you do too, and I'm back. It's only been once a week that I um, post, but have a great day, and I hopefully I get back to more often. I'm in my studio every day. I should just film what I do. It's not always Zentangle, but it um, I'm always doing something in in my studio. Matter of fact, the last little thing I did, I'll just show you, is I made little books. And I am giving these away. Um, and I, I stained the, the pages with alcohol ink. You could use watercolor. I just put these in a spray bottle and sprayed them. And they're a little different. Here's one that I sprayed it hasn't got a cover on it yet but i took old composition folders that you know how in the composition folder you only use like a third of it and then you've got all these pages that you haven't done anything with and you think i can't throw it out i recycled it i just made some signatures i put 10 papers in each signature and um then made a little book put a um and paper on each end so when I'm ready to glue it into into my hardcover hardcover it has some end papers and there we go I'm always showing it upside down and there we go so if you're interested in learning how to do that make a comment and let me know and I will surely give a tutorial on that great little sketchbooks um, they're three and a half by four and a half, so you could literally put a tile in there. You could always make it bigger. So, but thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'm going to make a statement here. New videos, this is what I've always said at the end of my um new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays and I'm going to see what I can do or maybe more often if I get inspired. Thanks again and have a great day.